Hi, today we would like to talk about another type of the IoT application which is a uh, data logging. We can use the Internet of Things to store our measurement values so that we can trace back the values when we need to. Let's get started. This is the overall concept of the IoT data logging system. At first, we need an internet broker to provide us a unique channel so that all the devices can communicate to each other. Through the internet broker, we can register a lot of devices into the same channel so that to be displayed on smartphone or using laptop or PC to download the historical data. We will use a non-MCU microcontroller to program the sensors that we need to measure. These non-MCU microcontrollers can be separated to each other and can be scattered all around the world as long as there is a Wi-Fi connection to the internet. In this project, the internet broker that we are using is ThinkSpeak. There are two major internet protocols can be communicated with the ThinkSpeak. The first is the HTTP communication protocol and the second is the MQTT protocol. In this case, we will be using more on the HTTP. First, we will have to go to the thingspeak.com to create the account. You can click on sign up and follow the instructions. For me, I have already have an account. Just click sign in. You enter a main dashboard like this. So under my channels, you can create as many channels as you wish. Channels means projects. One project is one channel. So once you create the channel, you can name it anything and it can record up to 8 fields. The fields means the measurement sensor. Like for example, field 1 is to measure temperature, field 2 is to measure irradiation, field 3 is example you are measuring a uh, wind speed. Let's create a sample channel. For example, I name it as a uh, first project test. You can add your description, field name, maybe I'll uh, put the ambient temperature. If you want to increase the sensors, you can tick the box here. So in this example, I'm only using one field, which is field one. The sequence is very important. So I put my ambient temperature as field 1. You can put your sensors at any field like for field 1 and field 6 for example. So the rest I leave it blank. Save channel. So since I've created the first channel and since I only create a field 1, so there's a chart over here which is empty. Later on, we have to program the microcontroller to upload the values to this channel. You can make your project to be viewed publicly or private. If your project is in private view, so that during programming of the microcontroller or command, you need to add the API keys. There are two API keys here over here. You can treat this API key as an access code to your channel. So for example, to read your data, they need the read API keys. Or if you want to modify or somebody want to modify your channel data, they'll need the right API key. Later on, we'll show you how to use these keys in the code. Besides the API key, the second important thing is the channel ID. In order to access your project, make sure you need to run down your channel ID and also the API keys. In this project, for example, I would like to measure the ambient temperature. So, what we need are the Node MCU microcontroller, the NTC thermistor to measure the ambient temperature, the 10 kilo ohm resistor. some DuPont cables 
connectors and optionally you can get the not MCU base this is the wiring diagram of this project it is quite straightforward so once you are on my blog page you can read through it for smartphone monitoring you can download the apps called ThingView it will be showing a real time value and also the historical data in terms of graph if you are the first time dealing with the not MCU microcontroller make sure you download the box manager and the libraries so here is the step by steps until the end of the page you can see the Arduino code right click save link as I recommend you to save at desktop click save when you are in the code there are four things you need to change the first is the API key you need to get the API key from ThingSpeak this is the right API key in order for your microcontroller to allow the measurement data the second thing is the server of the internet broker which we are using the ThingSpeak this can remain unchanged and you also need your Wi-Fi name if you don't know that your Wi-Fi name you can check it at your smartphone make sure it's a full name without any capital error and also the Wi-Fi password there are nothing much to change here so just click verify and upload the code so once you have downloaded and installed the ThingView apps in your smartphone just open it to add the channel that we have created just now in ThingSpeak click the app button so key in the ID go to first project test of your ThingSpeak and the channel ID key in the channel ID if this is not a public channel for example I want to make it as a private view okay so you have to change the public button off in your smartphone and there's a API key required you go to API key of the thing speed so this API key is the read API keys so it allows you to read the data from the channel click save and that's it this is the first project test that we created just now and you can monitor it since there's no data uploaded yet it will be created every 15 seconds and I will show you another project that have been tested for this so I will go to my first Arduino project test this example of the graph that you will see is the accumulation of the order data points so currently the ambient temperature is at 30.57 celsius you can swap between days week for overview pictures and also months but this one I just recorded few days ago so we don't have a lot of data and lastly if you want to download the data the easiest way and the fully customized will be the URL followed by this format to be practical you go to my blog page there's a full explanation on this so the code structure will be something like this this is the main structure and your channel ID then followed by the file name which is fixed and the condition 1, condition 2 and condition 3 you can change so this is the condition codes so let's make an example for example I want to collect data from coronavirus analytics in this channel there are three fields so for example the cases of coronavirus the cases of recovered and the cases of death so I want to download the data for these three fields let us copy the main structure of the URL code and paste it here let's copy and paste it here so let us change the ID the channel ID that I want to collect for example the coronavirus analytic this is a channel ID 
just copy and paste it here and the first condition so let's look back at the condition codes API key this is the read API key unless my channel is a private mode currently my access is in public mode so I do not need the API key I want to start taking all the data since yesterday so the format is this and end at this so the name is start and end so for example I start I copy this format and end at what time so condition 1 I erase this I want the data since yesterday so it's 27 of February percentage 20 is the standard code and end at today 28 of 2030 I don't want all the data every 15 seconds so that one is the time scale so the third condition will be time scale equal to 10 and time scale equal to 10 this is the third condition I want just key in the fourth condition is the offset because every country have different time so by default if you never put the offset of the time it will give a UTC time for example in my country the offset is plus 8 so my final condition is the offset which is the time zone is equal to 8 okay so in between all the conditions there are a n symbol so if everything is done you just click enter and there's a file there's an excel file it's automatically downloaded just open it and here you go these are the fields and all the data in 10 minutes interval so from yesterday up to current time 2030